What's up, y'all? It's Kirsten from Path to Summit LLC, a virtual project management firm that provides project staffing, project guidance, and creates PMOs for organizations all over the globe. Listen, if y'all are using sheet summary within Smart Sheets and within your project plans, you're doing too much. Creating other sheets to make indexes or other formulas so that your sheets can summarize, it's too much. Let me show you a way that you can use sheet summary within your project plans and create reports from it. Let's go. I've pulled up a simple project plan here that has different phases beneath it. Here is the project plan name. The right hand side, we have a different toolbar. Hover over this icon right here, and that is the sheet summary. Within the sheet summary, you can make different fields. Here are the options. I've already made some fields, so I'm going to walk you through those. We can use the sheet summary to aggregate and summarize information that is within the sheets. We can also create formulas that allow communication back and forth between the sheet summary fields and the smart sheet project plan set. For example, if I hover over the title of ABC project within the project plan, you can see that there is a formula here. With the hashtag there, it indicates that this is a field within the sheet summary. Within my sheet summary, I can call the project name XYZ projects. As you can see, once I clicked off, it renamed this. They interact together. Rolling over, another formula that we utilized is assigned role. Within the sheet summary, we have different roles for different fields, business analyst, project manager, strategic technology partner. If we label these roles, we have also created a formula right here that outlines, hey, take a look at the sheet summary and bring in those names in the assigned to column. Let's try it out. In assigned role, I'm going to choose the business analyst. As you can see, Rodney pops up right here. In the assigned role below it, I'm going to choose the technical expert. As you can see, Support a Path to Summit pops up automatically. Scrolling down within the sheet summary, we have another field called Status Health. If I scroll to the left, I can see right here is the overall health of the project. There is a formula in there. And if I click on that formula, you can see what that formula is in order to bring it over here to the project health. We also have a formula in this field that says equal status one. It's very easy to see which of the sheet summary fields have a formula within them. They have this FX noted right above and you can hover over to see what the actual formula is. Using sheet summary, we can create formulas that also aggregate information of how complete are we in the setup? What about discovery and design? What about the delivery of the solution? Testing, the production environment. We can update formulas to input the start and the launch date so that again, the sheet summary and the project plan can actually communicate back and forth with each other. Let's take this a step further and create a sheet summary report. Within my workspace, I'm going to click on create and choose report. Right here, Smartsheet asks you, would you like a report that shows rows within a Smartsheet or a project plan, for example, or would you like a sheet summary report? We're going to choose a sheet summary report and we're going to call it overall progress example. Once I hit OK, I'm going to click into that sheet summary report. And now I'm going to choose my parameters. I'm going into ABC Consulting. I'm going into the ABC Projects. I would like to show this ABC Project Plan. I'm going to go into the BP Project Plan and choose that one. Lastly, I'm going to choose the CAP Projects and I'm going to choose that CAP Project Plan. Now I go through the options of the columns that I would like to display. All of the columns that it's providing are actually sheet summary fields. For each project I selected, I would like to know the percentage of completion on each of these phases. Next, it asks to do our filter criteria. I'm actually going to just skip this for now. And as you can see, this report is providing the three different project plans as well as the percentage of completion with each phase. This is a report that can be further projected on a Smartsheet dashboard. And there you have it. Utilizing sheet summary within Smartsheet can help aggregate your data, create awesome reports, as well as streamlining your workflows when you're assigning different people by different roles. There are many ways to use sheet summary within Smartsheet. If you have any questions, be sure to hit us up. We'd love to help you out. Have questions? Comment below. We actually respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our Path to Summit channel for more project management tips, tricks, and software tutorials.